Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. It is vanishing. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. There it is. Melia, we're in sight of Alchemar. All right. I'm on my way. Phew. Guess we're still in one piece. <sighs> Quite. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Those voices. Uh, are those? It's 
Kino and Nene. What are they doing here? Shulk, we must help them. Of course. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting. For children of here upon Ricky's household. No injuries, Kino. Uh, I'm, uh... Hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. Oh, really? Most interesting. Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. This place looks promising. We can take a break here. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how did you even get here at all? Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital. On the Bionis' shoulder. So... Ah... So that is where the Junks comes in, then. I appreciate it. But... Even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Kino with eyes of Rogel. 
You know, follow Mr. Shop from behind and do some sneak peekings. No, no, Sister Pon follow Kino and sneak peek on too. Me, me, me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Kino always look up to Dead Upon. Want to become mighty Hero Upon too. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. But how did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hero Upon make friends with every toe step. Or so Dead Upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. It's, it's not for the sister pawn. He's not scored Nene. Fault is of Kino only. Kino? Sincere sorries. Kino wanted to repay debt. That upon a mom upon take Kino in when Kino all alone. You were alone. Is truth. One day, out of blue, Dead Upon bring Kino home. Said, here is Breath Upon. That day, nobody made comment. Everyone except Kino. Kino, more happy they could say. That why, that why. That they want to become Hero Upon and repay debt to family. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For oh, really? Uh huh. You really twist wing, but fine. We'll allow to be sidekicks of Kino. Kino? Wrong word. Supposed to say, friends. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes. About that. Hmm? It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Porcino! It all starts here! Mahay! Only high end here living here. Ho oh there, strangers. Oh, hello. I see. You've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alkamov. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. The Fog King? Yeah. Suddenly showed up in Alkamov a few months back. 
From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghost not shoot beams, dum-dum. So that's why you call it the Fog King. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the Hyentia and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital, so that we might live. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. <sighs> Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy, are you hard of hearing? I heard you. Then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already cost too many lives. <sighs> Maxis. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. Now what? Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. So this means we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the Personal Protection Division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the Majesty. Perish the thought, Your Majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. Hm. I have no patience for weedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the Majesty address is burdensome to me. If you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind, Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar, we really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis, hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. <laughs> to begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. 
The device is configured in such a way that only some of the Hyentia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! Kind thanks, Birdmister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar, this outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel Ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the Machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. You couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. <sighs> Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gelgar, we will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Sir Gelgar, thanks for this. See you friend later. Please to be extra careful of self. The same to you all. You okay? Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tummy hurty? No, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding, slowly but steadily. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Quite. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. Those who bear grudges. Though joy for them is still scarce, I thought only of me. But you didn't, not at all. The high end here of Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy hat. You know, lose that upon a mama pump, but still for a bounce. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. Sis! What the... What the why you bring that up? It's completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino, not cheer up this many. Agree to disagree. D -d 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 anyway, cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. 
to become the hope of the High India is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. You are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Friends, thank you. I think I can finally see now what my role here is. Onwards to Alchemoth. Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Transporter! Over here! Huh? What is it? The transporter is running. So it is. But how? Maybe somebody activated it. In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. Good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some reading. Housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. Wh what is that thing? Look like hole in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That Fog King creature. Is it from... It's a possibility. In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and tell to face? Bye bye bye! Gotcha! Little joke there. Nay, nay, big meanie! A child's voice. Where? Up there! Over there! The child is in danger. Quickly! Are you all right, child? Wait, Teelan. Ah, oh, Miss Melia. You too, Shulk. How... how did you... We 
can talk later. It colored in black fluffy mist. So that scary king of fog? Yeah, maybe so. Best give it our all. We can only hope. Look! The rift! It's... Oh no! Look out! Ha! No! That beam! What about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Then that would mean... It looks like we found our Fog King. Yes, I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. Understand. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Huh. No, no. Melia, Kino. Leave to me. Eat face full of pain. Be gone. King of fog, bright dust! <sighs> it is just as Maxis said then. Melia, let's pull back! That would seem wise. Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsom said. Though, I don't think they realize it themselves. Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh, sorry, miss. He get told? Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck in to gather research material. But then, I tripped over some rubble and, uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah. I was given special permission, so I could conduct my research. That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister? Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back? Yeah. Oh, hey! My lab's over on the far end of Zen's thoroughfare. You wanna come with? We can talk more there, where it's safe. You have your own laboratory? Not as grand as my old one, mind. We still don't understand the Fog King, or the monster that attacked Telan. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. Teelan's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. 
the thing that attacked... Oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog Beasts always appear around the Fog King, so the name seemed appropriate. Makes sense. Right, I'll be going on ahead. You won't be guiding us on the way? I need to clean up, else there won't be anywhere to stand. All right, see you. Hey, wait! He's gone now. What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. Huh? He got told. He probably have it coming. Thrice damned fools. They think to second guess the will of the divine. How many times have I told you, you do not go there alone? But... I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? If something happened to you, we would lose everything. <sighs> Tyrea? Melia! Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis. Tyrea's your... big sis. Right. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea. I didn't expect to see you here, helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well... Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters, then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Hmm. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? Hmm? I've only known her here, in this place, so I gotta wonder how she was before. She... she was... She was strong. Both in body, and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. Pretty much the same as how she is now, then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Fog King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Before the Fog King showed up? Yeah, and then... After we all escaped, I was kind of on my own, so Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Teelan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Is that so? I'm sorry. Teelan, just like Kino. Brave little pun. I think I'll get some air too. 
Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Teelan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. It shan't be long. Miss Rally, Kino go too. Kino, please read room. Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here, how did you... Pure chance. After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia and survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. Or so I thought. Until fate had me save Teelan, and death ceased to be an option. Your mother. She did not grant you a dying place. She gave you our future by crossing your path with Teelan's. My helping with Teelan's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Teelan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High Entia, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war. No. Empress, now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Empress Melia, so you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. Did you learn anything from Teelan? Hmm. A little. He said that for all the details, we ought to talk to Radzum in Grandel. Meeting should be no problem. Teelan say he's somewhere to guard a Grandel ramparts to let friends through. Before we visit this Radzum, I have something I wish to discuss with you all. What is matter now? The High Entia who live here now have lost all hope for the future. I have a duty. As the Imperial successor, I must safeguard their future. This will sound... selfish, I know, but will you stand with me? Of course I will, Malia. Kino, too. And also Nene. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Right. Off to Grandel we go.
Greetings. We have heard from Teelan that a man called Radson lives within these walls. Ah, friends of Teelan's, are you? We've been expecting you. Go on, in you get. You're letting us straight through. You don't look particularly concerning, is all. These walls are imposing, but they aren't here for controlling foot traffic. They're to keep savage monsters from having themselves a rampage. Most sensible. Well, we'll be going then. Thankings! Sorry for time taking. It looks the same as any Amu, if you ask me. Different subtle. Sure is. Really? Pardon me. Have you come from Companion's Cape, by any chance? We've just come from the laboratory. But we were at the Cape just before that. And was everyone there all right? Yes, it seemed to me. Thank goodness. That's a relief to hear. Is something wrong? You may be aware, but originally, we all lived here together, as a group. But then, some left because there are machina here. Exactly. At first, we managed to tolerate each other in relative harmony. Obviously, we had our share of friction. What happened? Well, the final straw was something trivial. The Companions tried all sorts of ploys to retake the capital, but... None of the plans succeeded. Many soldiers were lost this way. One Machina had had enough, and told them to just give up. And that's when it happened. Yeah. They shouted, if you rust rats hadn't betrayed us, we wouldn't have lost our brethren and our homes in the first place. Things got heated, and then they left and didn't look back. They shouldn't have forgotten that we all lost. Friends, family, and homes. They're soldiers, ma'am. In the war, they put everything on the line for their country. And so... When their country was taken from them, the extent of their anger and resentment was fully understandable. Yes. Still, we who stayed behind don't bear them any grudges. They protected us all for a long time, regardless of race. And bear in mind, in the end, they didn't cast the Machina out. They left the safety of our walls of their own volition. That's why we pledged that if they chose to return, we'd welcome them back and meet them with a smile. I will do whatever is in my power to make it so. Nay, nay, why I sweat it. Inflammation of tear ducts. By the way, we have heard that someone by the name of Radsom lives here. Radsom? Yes, he lives over there. Over there? Thank you. Very kind. It was Radsom, actually. He was the one who told the Companions to give up their quest. Right. I see. All right. 
Let's go and see him straight away. Yes, let's. Are you perchance Radsom? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Thielen mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Thielen sent you. Him and Tyrea are still getting on okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did warn him not to be reckless. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. To be honest, so does Tyrea. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Thielen. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's Etherfield, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Etherfield? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now, the Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there, to feed on the ether, and, as a result, keep the threat contained. Oh, this hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. But my ether, it worked against Fog Beasts, but not the Fog King. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk, Melia? Would you do me a favor and head to Thielen's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, we heard that you spoke out against the Companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. Their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide watching them throw away more lives for nothing. Nothing? Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here. But now? Well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. If we end up extinct, we'll have won nothing. Well spoken. But I'm sure the companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. They seem to be catching on too. After all, they've stayed put since then. When you put it like that, The people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes, and with no means of return. Hmm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes. But they're feeling desperate, and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes, we were. That true? Hmm. But we learned, eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk 
the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal. Defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. Sounds like job for Hero Volcano. Just let Nene at him. Thank you, everyone. Mama Me, what that thing? Is that? It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. What is happening over there? Beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. Beasts. Me, me, no one to picture that. Must hurry to rescue. was right, Melia. Yes. Although, the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Radson, are you fine? Miss Melia, these armors. It was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right you are. Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as reward. 
Real hereupon never has compensation. Were it say that? Shulk. Was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our armor's transformation? Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the Rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the Rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case, if the rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. Villain! What do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you, and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy! Melia! Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history! So be it! I reject you! I will take the mantle and become father of our kin! I... I know I am not wrong. I'm not. I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No! The lab! Melia! Miss Melia! No! Idiot! <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon! Vixes, help! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today! Are you okay, Talon? Telethia, here! Damn! She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. <gasps> the future.
House. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us. Come on, big sis. That's enough. Don't defend her. This idiot child. I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet, ultimately it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome. We found it in the tomb. Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yes, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan, Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on. We'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? Can I use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely excessive? <laughs> 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 This might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief! Miss Melly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you, big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just... don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her... She figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle, so really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts, but not against the Fog King. 
That's because the ether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, Dum Dum. But Kino is so bored. The whole thing got me wondering. Why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Telethia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethia's, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high-purity ether crystals, except... Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm. True enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Hey! So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Hmm. Radsum, sir! Fog beasts have broken through the gates! They're through! If only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha. Travel won't stand a chance, not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. You go no further. Yeah. Please, life is no use. Kino make you full of holes. And Nene teach you better manners. We beat them this time, but the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! Situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. Yea. As soldiers of the High Entia, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. <laughs> I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please. Trust me, Rebsum. I'll be right here. Trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! 
If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me. You head straight for the cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's... You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea! Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. <sighs> Come on. We make for the Companion's Cape. all of them. We're in the clear. Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Let's go through this again. Hi, Entia, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom! Fog be sighted! To arms! They're all just... gone. What? But how? How are you? All well? Y yeah What the hell are you? Never you mind that. We've come to make a request. Time is of the essence. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? If you're asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Indeed. Then you must know why that's not an option. What if I said Grandel is besieged by fog beasts? Are you serious? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. And the villagers? Are they safe? Yes. For the time being. But not for much longer. You don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. No. I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were hit, then... Well, I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the Guard. You need not. <sighs> but it's not as simple as you make it out. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? What matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons. But you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. Hmm. Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yes, but our home is right there, even if we cannot live in it now. 
But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... we left them for dead. How can we possibly... It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late, or you'll regret it. <laughs> Maxis, I'm going with these people. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? <sighs> you're damn good. All right, honey. So you're with us? Truly. Yeah, but it wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. My family needs me. Fine. As you wish. Birdman pain in bomb bomb. Real feather brain. <sighs> Useless little spoiled princess brat. Maxis, thank you. Ha! Huh. It's me who should be thanking you, Ransom. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. What are you talking about? If it weren't for your help, we'd all have kicked it ages ago. Smelly looking for Tyrea. She go back after healing. Cannot put up with this sentimental manure. Was exact words. <laughs> Sounds just like her. To a T. Lady Melia, I'm glad we trusted you. We owe you a debt for our lives. No, you have only each other to thank. Huh? Wait up, huh? Melia? Did he say Melia? Indeed. Surely not. You can't be the Melia Antiqua. Antiqua? Uh, yes. I do get called that sometimes. I... that... no. What? That means... Your... Your Highness is the Crown Princess Melia. Do you need a minute, Maxis? Impudence! 
This girl is the true-born child of our late Emperor Saurian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? It was not my intent to deceive. I thought if I announced myself, it could bring hope, but it could also bring despair. What our people need now is hope only. Hence the discretion. I'd appreciate if you treated me normally. Right. That is enough of that. Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. You won't. You companions will join Tyrea and guard Grandel from Fogbeast Incursion. But that's... Listen to me, Maxis. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand well. But, for the sake of those fallen, you must protect the living. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> the Companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. It's the only way. I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. Lady Melia, take care. Absolutely. Maxis and his companions, they're counting on us, too. Yes. Let us perform the enhancements at Radsom's. May we, Radsom? Ah, oh, only too gladly, Miss Melia. It's ready. Ha! Huh? Huh? It's not changed much. Still same. Quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. Days of Fog King numbered! Well, it is time. Please come back safe. But a rare feast will wait. Tilan, not to cause mischief in meantime, okay? So, you did it. Thanks to you and to Tilan. Strength and honor, friend. We will do our best. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Except... The transporters, they don't mean a damn thing to it. Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. Is that...? I used this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. We'll keep guard here, don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? All right. I won't let you down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Nene got friends and friends of friends. 
that line of Hero Pompkino? You brave few who venture forth, we salute you! Today. I would guess it correlates with the widening of the rift. It changes nothing. The time is now. Lend me your strength. The future belongs to us. King of Folk will no name of Hero Bomb Hero. Monster in for proper bashing. Wrong. The sky. The rift is expanding. Mama, something not right. Foggy fluffies are coming together. Not take no for answer. What is the meaning of this? It must be drawing its strength from the rift. And now it's even bigger. <laughs> In other words, if we could close the rift, we might have a chance. It's possible. But first, Let's do all that we can here. You're right. This is all over Kino's head. But as hero plan, fight against impossible odds is natural like breathing. My name, time to dish out extra mega serving of fishy fancy with cherry on top. Just the same. Our future must be kept safe. What? What? Telekia? Why? What? What on Bionis? Melia, for whatever reason, those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift. Incredible. They saved us. Fine. Time to finish this. Please, buy me some time. Hmm.
Grant me your strength, friends. is safe. Finally. It is.
there waiting for you, Melia. Does this world need a coronation? I just don't see the point. Don't say that. It is the will of the people. It will mark the birth of a new era. You'd also have been a fine choice. Yes, well. I'm occupied with my research, as you know, Empress Melia. Don't mock me. Here we go. Yes.